Hi guys, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. Gonna take a look real quick at the Hera software that comes with all of the Gamdias peripherals. I showed you guys during the other overview for the Hermes how most of this software works. So we're just gonna take a quick look at some of the details that are unique to the uh, gaming mice or their mice peripherals. In this particular case, the Apollo. Um, and of course, please come over and watch our uh, full review for the Apollo Optical Gaming Mouse. Uh, first things first, the key assignments, pretty similar to the keyboard. You can pretty much set any of these keys to so many different, uh, just about, oh, keyboard key, I meant to click this, uh, to so many different options. You can set it to default. Uh, for sensitivity tuning in this case you can set it to switch DPI you can set it to precision aim you know obviously you can see the list here um, any keyboard key and you just click here and type it maybe I want that to be my jump button or my space bar anything like that I'm gonna set it back to default um, same thing for this side it is by default their consecutive attack but again you can set it for just about anything to either launch programs or media controls windows functions uh, skype functions are even included you know some of those open hang up answer things like that I set it back to default of course the left click can't really be changed it doesn't change right click has limited ability to change and so does the scroll wheel limited ability to change Moving on to macro management, that is exactly the same as the keyboard. You can create a macro and you can set it once again to any of those keys. Mouse control is going to be something unique, of course. We can change DPI level, pulling rate, the cursor speed, vertical scroll speed, and the double click speed. And it even has a little test area here. And uh, you can change acceleration and things like that. So that's all pretty nifty, especially the DPI, I think, is the thing most people use. Uh, probably going to get quite a bit of use out of the double click speed. As far as the luminance goes, the uh, mouse wheel, the scroll wheel, does light up and it does have full RGB control. You can set it for just about any color here. Um, I have it set there. You can set it for a breathing mode. You can dim it or turn it off. And again, you can raise or lower these values to uh, make it like say white or kind of an aqua or just green whatever it doesn't matter so uh, or even once again off assigning sounds and timers uh, again I showed that the Hera software has little alarms and little timers and everything built into it for kind of professional gaming setting up uh, being able to watch cooldowns and things like that having a little timer go on in the corner of your screen and you can set that all up here and here we're supposed to be able to change or create a sound file and uh, it comes with a few alarm sounds already I've gotten rid of those trying to create my own but whenever I hit record and I keep going I'm talking right now into the microphone Camtasia is recording me you can hear me and then I click it and hit save and I play it back and I've got nothing. I don't know what the deal is there, but it does not seem to work. I've played MP4 tracks, I've played video tracks, I've I've done system sounds, I've done just about everything I can think of to create sounds. Even obviously going over here and you know, there's your name, new sound and recording a sound and blah 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 I'm recording the new sounds and things like that and whatever and it just doesn't work play it back nothing so I'm not really sure what the deal is there I've spent t nearly an entire day messing with that right there and uh, I've got nothing I've gone through their website I've gone through other websites I've looked at I've had nobody no other review that I've found has addressed this issue at all so uh, I don't know what to do there timer settings again you can set up timers to keep track of cooldowns or anything like that you can create them here I showed all that for the Hermes keyboard and then I showed the muscle memory where uh, it keeps track of all of your button presses it keeps track of the distance that the mouse has traveled if I run it around you can see that go up 35 should go up to 36 there you go so uh, 
you know, that's how much you've moved the mouse. Speed, of course, and acceleration, kind of self-explanatory. How much you've scrolled. I can scroll through here and see it'll go up. It's not going up, but whatever. There it goes. So you get the point there. And then the burst speed and explosiveness, omnipressions. I've pressed all four keys at the same time. I bet I could press all five, too, if I really want. Uh, there we go. So it keeps track of that, and that's actually really neat. Um, and then, of course, you can just go to their update and support. So that is a quick look at some of the changes that can be made to the Gamdius Apollo optical gaming mouse.